Welcome to City of Reviews. Here I have an Oki Mohawk drone. That's how it looks like. So let's unbox. It's really light, really, really light. See, I can hold it just with like this. But um, let's unbox this and see what it's uh, about. Unbox from here, from here. Okay, it's upside down. Careful. Uh, I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let's just try to take this out without breaking anything. Uh, get out of here. Fly away box. <laughs> right, the box is um, away. Let's see. Well, half of the box. What the heck are these? Hello, I'm the ring. Okay, this, this just holds the controller. That's cool. Uh, okay, something. Okay, manual. I don't need those. Extra. Uh, everything is taped down. Come on, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just trying to unbox the stuff first. Little propeller things, extra ones. For the new pilots. Oh no, one of them is kinked, I think. Let's let's see. Where is it? What is it stuck with? Okay. It's from underneath. Oh my god, really? It uses tie clips! Aha! That's what I'm gonna use. <laughs> uh, there's the tie clip number one, I believe. And here's the tie clip number two. There we go. Pull them out, pull them out. That's the drone. I'm going to put this aside. i got to see what else there is in the box. Everything is taped down. I uh, don't even know how the controller comes out. How? Okay, it has like this bump things. There we go. That is pretty neat. Uh, so what is this in here? Why is it taped? Can't you like use something like, I don't know, like a... Something different. Is that a battery? That's that's nothing. Alright, that's empty. Uh, let's see what the accessories are. That's the USB charger, uh, apparently. <coughs> let's open this. <coughs> ah, God damn it. Okay, I got it open. There we go. Uh, screwdriver, we are screwing screws with this. <laughs> uh, warranty card, there's no Oki sticker. No, no Oki sticker. Right, the controller. <laughs> Let's see, that's that's pretty cool. It's the altitude hold. Um, how do you open this thing? Does it open? Really, no batteries? <laughs> I uh, wonder if it takes 1.5, so can I put those um, other uh, things in there? <laughs> That's probably on and off. It looks like uh, like the big Okitron, which I did a review on. See, here's the controller for the big Okitron, which is very similar to this. See, you have the same buttons. So I believe these are all the same. This is like on and off. This actually has batteries, yes, and uh, it's very similar to this. I'm going to probably use the batteries from this one. <laughs> and I have to mention that I don't know about this one, but this one, it only takes the 1.5 volt uh, alkaline batteries, so it has to be 1.5. So this is the USB charger to charge up your drone. Now, I don't like kinked cables, please. Uh, this goes straight to the battery. Hopefully the battery is full, but I don't know. See, we open the battery up. Let's take it out. Really small battery, so that should charge it. We connect it in here. You can also use an Oki power bank if you want. Like this one to charge it up with. So we plug this in here. Uh, I don't know if it indicates if it's charging or not. It doesn't have any kind of light anywhere. So the other one did have a light. Wait, this why, what is that? That's weird. I've never seen a USB like this. It has like a double thing in there. Right, so um, I think that's charging. I'm not sure. It doesn't indicate anything. And the most important thing, the drone itself. That's the battery holder. I don't know what all this is in here. Look at that. Yeah, you can connect like different stuff in there, but I don't know what. The lights are really cool. So that is the front. The other one is the uh, back. I know this propellers are a little bit weird. It looked look like it was kinked, one of them. 
Nah, it's just um, where they pour the material. <sighs> very light. Very, very light. Uh, this should be fun. So I took a look at the manual and this has like a headless mode that you can, you know, if you push this uh, forward, then the drone goes exactly in the direction where the controller is, uh, you know, pointing. So if you're facing the drone like this, then forward is there. Facing it like this, forward is there. So get the point. I uh, hope you do. It also has one, uh, you know, the one push flip thing, but it doesn't really make much sense. On this uh, peak drone, it has one of these buttons. You press it once, and then it's ready to flip, and then you just push this to either left, right, up or down, and the drone does like a flip, you know, like this. But on this one, it says on, uh, press down on directional button, and then uh, controller beeps, and then you can flip, uh, but it makes no sense. These buttons are different than this one. One of them is the, for the video, so you can attach a small camera to it. Don't know how much weight it can take, but... Uh, uh, let's just try to fly this thing, shall we? This can only go uh, one way, this thing, so it can only attach like this. Uh, let's try to... Whoa, 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 where's, where's the on and off button on this thing? Let's, let's find it. Guys, I can't find the on and off switch on this thing, but it has pretty cool LEDs. I absolutely love them, so let's see what happens if I just put this on. Just make sure this is a uh, down, so that means throttle down, so... Yes, it has an LCD in here, which shows. This This is what I really uh, expected. See, if I move this, it shows the trim where it goes, see? See which way it goes, so that's really good. See the lines going up like this? It doesn't go that much up for some reason. Okay, it only shows one of them, but um, let's see if it's uh, bared. What's going on? All right, I think I got it bared, so let's see this thing. How, how can it fly? I'm being careful with this right now. I need to turn it around manually. I'm going to try this again. Well, it works, but <laughs> I'm a bit skeptical. My area is really small. The camera leg is right here, so... Uh, see, it says the throttle and everything on here. I had a bearing issue with it. I'm gonna take it to a like, bigger area. I'm gonna clear this up a little bit and give you a flight demo. Right, so the first thing is that you have to block this in here. Uh, this is uh, one of the problematic things I don't like. I mean, this is really well done. This this is like, you know, attached in here. But this is really difficult to pull it out. You have to yank it from the wires. And I think you're going to just end up breaking them at some point. But uh, what you need to do is plug this in first. And you have to like plug it in properly. So you have to push it in all the way. Then you have to put it on a flat surface and wait until it starts flashing slower. See, it went from faster to slower. Then you take the controller, put this on. And you do this, and if it beeps, then it's paired, and then you can fly. And make sure you don't keep it up, because otherwise it's going to hit your ceiling and fly away, you know. Right, so we're ready for the test. The controller is on, so let's try this. Or not. All right, put it down again. Test number two. Aha. Oh, this is stable as hell. This is really awesome. This is really stable, guys. Look at the stability in this thing. Yeah, I can hold this almost anywhere where I want. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Uh, I want to actually f turn it around, but I don't know. Wait. Where are you going, you stupid thing? I'm afraid to turn it around because I... Uh, I don't know where I'm going with it. Controlling it in reverse is a lot harder, so... But... Uh, 
I'm gonna try the headless mode. Let's try. That should be on the headless mode, so let's try this. I'm gonna step aside. Stop beeping! It's not on a headless mode. Didn't do anything. Stop it! Jesus. And well, one of the tests is to hit the lights off. Alright. I don't know how well you can see it, but here goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's very difficult to rotate, that's the problem, because you hit the throttle at the same time. <laughs> yeah, put it back on. <laughs> put the lights back on. Right, this is the final test to try it on the headless mode, which I don't know, it didn't work. It, it just doesn't do anything, guys. It just keeps beeping. Yeah, I can't get it in the headless mode. And I don't know how to flip this thing either. Maybe that's the... I, I don't really feel like flipping it in here. It's not enough room in here. I wonder if I can fly it under the table. Can I? Dare I? No, better not. It's, it's stable, but not that stable, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's get it closer to the camera. Oh, where is it going? Come back. Zoom out a little bit. I'm trying to do a flyby in here, but it's not really doing a flyby. There it is. I don't know how long the battery lasts. I think it's been already like at least five minutes. Kind of interested to... No, no. It's fairly easy to control, I have to say. A lot easier than the big one. You just have to be careful. Uh, maybe you can get me in the picture with it. So you have to like make small adjustments with the throttle. I cut it off the table. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Surprisingly long lasting, I have to say. But yeah, it's difficult to turn this thing. That's what I don't like. I think that's enough for the first test. Might go outside next time, so... Oh, oh, come on. No, 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 no. I want to land it in the middle. Not going to accept anything less than that. There you go. And, well, that was flight number this number... Num flight test number one. And I guess that was a success.